In this video, we are going to see how to send birthday wishes on WhatsApp. So let's say that you have the details of all your clients on any spreadsheet here, Airtable. So you wish that every day the record should be checked and if there is a birthday, then automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent to the person. Now, how can this happen? For this, you will have to run a workflow, like if you want to automate this, so that every day, once you have checked the records, then automatically this message should be sent. Integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here your action applications would be Airtable and WhatsApp once you have scheduled. So how can you do this yourself? Like integrate and automate this entire process to understand that. Let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, we can see two tabs, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So sign up now. Now I'm already a user here, so I'm simply going to click on sign in. And as we do that, here we have reached the All Apps page. We are going to click on Access Now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of the application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is that I have some data of my employees or clients on any spreadsheet and I wish to automatically send WhatsApp messages to those clients on their birthdays. So here I'm going to name this workflow as Airtable WhatsApp integration and let's click on create as we do that we have reached another important window which has got two significant events one is trigger another one is action triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works trigger is when this happens and action is do this basically action here is the response of our trigger now here i want to schedule my this workflow so that every day it would be able to check the sheets that I have prepared on Airtable. So here I'm going to first schedule it. So let's choose a feature by Pabli which is schedule. And here how often do I want to run my workflow? So I want it to run every day at a particular time. Let's say the time is 10 o'clock in the morning and then I'm going to click on save. So here you can see that we have received the API response which says that I want to run this workflow every day according to UTC which is five and a half hours prior. So this is 4.30 and as per the local time, this is 10 o'clock. So we have received this. Now what do I want? If there is a sheet and I need to check if there's a birthday, I need to know if it coincides with the current date. So next application that I'm going to choose here it's again a feature by Pabli, which is date time formatter. I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to first fetch the current date. So let's click on this and click on connect. So as we do that here, the basic format is date, month and year. Now, do I want to include the time in response? So I have made it false. Let's click on save and send test request. So it is 18th of October and I have received my current date. So now that I have received the current date, I'm going to search for all the records that are there in my Airtable sheet and then look for the current date. So I'm going to add the action step over here and this time the application would be Airtable. Let's click on this. And what is my objective? So the action event here would be to search for records. Let's click on this and click on connect. Here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Airtable account. So I'm going to click on add new connection to set up this connection. Let's go to this hyperlink to receive this token so that we can set up this connection. Let's click on this. I have already logged into my Airtable account. And here, if I scroll down, this is the API key or the token going back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly paste it over here and click on save to set up this connection. So once done, here we have to map this data. To understand this, I'm going to take you to my Airtable account. So this is my Airtable account. These are the various workspaces and within each workspace, we have got different bases. I already have created a base. The name is birthday wishes list. I'm going to show this to you. So this is my base. Within this base, you can see there is one table which is employees details. We have the following column fields, name, date, year of birth and WhatsApp number. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. 
and here let's map the information so what is the name of our base as i click on this we have got the various bases that are already there a part of air table i'm going to look for both day wishes let's let's click on this and now since there was only one particular table there so it has already been captured by the system now which field name do i need to search so i need to search for this date field right so i'm going to go back to pably connect and here i'm going to change this to date and now the search value so the thing is that i am looking for the current date so if the information which is here in my air table if it matches with the current date then only a message has to be sent to my client so my current date here is in this particular format can we see that date month and year right but the information here is in a different format so first i'm going to go back to pably connect and here i'm going to add an action step which is a feature by pably known as text formatter so let's click on this now the action event is i'm going to split the text so the current date that i have received i'm going to split it let's click on connect and here i'm going to map the information the current date let's go to this and click on this now i wish the day month and year to be in different rows so i'm going to separate it with the help of an hyphen because it is separated with the help of an hyphen and i want all the segments let's click on save and send test request here we can see that we have received the date right it has been split now again i'm going to go to airtable i'm going to refresh this page once so now for the search value let's click on this go to step 3 first date then we are going to put a slash go back here and the month and now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here we have received the information so basically i have received this information why because in this particular table as per the current date there was only one particular data right now i'm going to go back to pably connect and i'm going to turn off this simple response and now i'm again going to click on save and send test request to receive the advanced form why because as of now there is only one birthday but there is a possibility that on particular days there can be more than three or four clients with birthdays on that particular day so we have received the information in an array format now what i'm going to do is i'm again going to click on this act action step and this time i'm going to choose iterator which is a feature by pably why because it is going to help me in segregating the data row wise now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the data only of one particular row once we have received this my next objective is to click on this and look for another application which is whatsapp cloud api let's click on this and now the action event would be to send template message let's click on connect here Pably Connect is asking to connect itself with the WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and here we have to provide the following information to set up this connection. Now to receive this information we have to go to Meta for Developers page which is this. We'll go to my apps. I already have created a few apps over here. You can create your own app by clicking on this green tab. I'm going to go to this application my connect message app. Now on the left hand side you can see WhatsApp. Let's click on this go to getting started now as soon as we have reached here we can see that we have received the information that we were looking for there is a token phone number id and whatsapp business account id but there is one important thing that you need to keep in your mind which is this is just a temporary access token this is not a permanent token so if you create your workflow using this token it will stop it will cease after 23 hours as the token will expire in 23 hours so you will have to create a permanent access token and a dedicated video is given in the video description to understand how to create a permanent access token it is a stepwise guide you can follow it and easily create your token now since this is just a test case so i'm going to copy this go back to public connect paste it over here now for the phone number the id again i'm going to copy this go back here paste it and finally the whatsapp business account id copied and i have pasted it over here let's click on save to set up this connection so once done here public connect is connected with whatsapp cloud api now here we have to map this information what is mapping basically so let me once again explain this to you mapping means that 
I have some data in my previous steps and I'm just going to retrieve it. And why do we map? Because if I will put the information manually, then from next time onwards, every time the workflow will run, it will take the same values. It will not take the new values that we have received. That is why mapping is important. Now, here first we have to understand what is a template name. Template is basically pre-written messages so that you do not have to waste your time in writing the same message again and again. Going back to Metaphor Developers page, here you can see in step 2 to create your own message template click here. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink over here. And here you can see a lot of templates that I've already created. If you wish to create your own template, you have to click on create template tab. Now here I have created a template which is known as birthday wishes. Let's click on this. And here you can see I have chosen a header which is an image. As I take you down, there's the body. Happy birthday. Then there's a number within double curly braces. I hope your birthday is full of sunshine and rainbows and love and laughter. Sending many good wishes to you on your birthday. Then there is regards. And then there's another variable. And then team. What are these variables? Basically, these are the numbers or names basically this is a text that can be replaced it can be changed with every message so with every message the name of the person would be different that is why these figures are written within double curly braces so these are known as variables as they can change now let me show you how is it going to look so it is going to look something like this there will be an image over here happy birthday akash saying i hope your birthday is full of sunshine and rainbows and love and laughter the same messages here and here regards video team Okay, so now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to look for birthday wishes. Let's click on this. Now the language code is English US. The template ID has already been received. And now we have to map the recipient's mobile number. So I'm going to click on this, go to the fifth step. And here if I scroll down, this is the mobile number. But here, if you will read, it is written that you have to enter the recipient's mobile number with the country code, but without the plus sign. So here, I'm going to add 91. Now, the header image URL. To receive this URL, I'm going to take you to my WooCommerce account. So this is my WooCommerce account. I'm going to take you to Media Library. And here, I'm going to click on this for the images. And if I scroll down, so here you can see that I have this image happy birthday i'm going to copy this url go back to public connect and paste it over here so this is the jpg image now the body field one basically i have to map the name over here so let's click on this again i'm going to go to step five and here this is the fields name and finally this here is a video team or pabli team so i'm going to just write it manually which is pabli okay and now let's click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the API response and if I take you to my WhatsApp account here you can see that yes we have received a message this is happy birthday demo name this is the full message regards Pabli team and here is the image which basically means that this integration process is a success. So I'm, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand the entire process once again. So we started with our trigger application which was Schedule, a feature by Pabli where we had put it for every day at 10 o'clock. Then our next action application was another feature by Pabli which was Date Time Formatter where we had to fetch the current date. Then we had to split the text for which we had chosen another feature by Pabli, Text Formatter. Finally the action application was Airtable where we had to search the records then we had put an iterator why because we needed here the response in array format and then we had to segregate it row wise and the last action step is whatsapp cloud api where the event was sent template message i hope this is very much clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can always clone the same and start to process immediately Apart from this, if you have any other advice or suggestion, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. 
I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.